Hey everyone, welcome to the first Deep Crit video. My name is Deep Pataria, currently a pulmonary and critical care fellow in New York City. I've set up a lecture series today regarding mechanical ventilation, the nomenclature, the interpretation, the dyssynchrony, the troubleshooting. The mechanical ventilator can be an overwhelming machine causing difficulties in interpreting complex waveforms and numbers, which can ultimately lead to a lot of confusion. Uh, this lecture series is intended for anyone in various disciplines wanting to enhance their understanding of the ventilator. So let's get started. So the mechanical ventilator, it's a great therapeutic tool, but also a fantastic diagnostic tool. If you can understand the waveforms, if you can understand what's going on with the different outputs that's being displayed, you can have a better understanding of what's going on inside the lungs. Uh, it's up to us to bring union to these two concepts uh, to provide the best patient care. Um, but like I said, the ventilator can be overwhelming, so let's try to break it down. Here's the first set of rules. Uh, when viewing the graphics, few things to keep in mind. The first thing is which type of mode is the patient receiving? Second, whatever you're looking at, does it actually make sense? The third and final aspect with regards to this is um, each waveform tells a story. What is a story? Right, every time you see a ventilator a waveform, you should be able to understand what's going on in the lung. There's a lot of nomenclature that goes out there when dealing with mechanical ventilators, so almost like a language in itself. A lot of terms out there, some of these terms are maybe misused, so we're going to provide definitions for all the, the terms out there, so we're all on the same page moving forward. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we see here uh, are scalars. This is typical of a mechanical ventilator to show all these different waveforms. The first one is a pressure time scalar or pressure scalar. Second one is a flow time scalar or a flow scalar. And last one is a volume time scalar or just a volume scalar. These are not loops. Loops are something different. We'll get to loops later. And the way to read these scalars at first can be overwhelming. Um, there's a systematic way to read chest x-rays. There's a systematic way to approach EKGs, a systematic way to read ultrasonography. Mechanical ventilation is no different. Now, when looking at a ventilator early on, people might get overwhelmed because as they see a single breath, they try to read up and down and try to interpret everything that's going on, but it's too overwhelming because there's too much information. So what I highly suggest is the method of reading mechanical ventilation is read each scalar from left to right individually. So look at the pressure scalar, read it from left to right so you don't miss anything. Same goes for flow, same goes for volume. Much better reading left to right compared to up and down. Now dissecting a breath. When I was taught mechanical ventilation, it was all like, here's everything you need to know about volume control. Here's everything you need to know about pressure control. But too much of that became too overwhelming and confusing for me. So the way I like to approach it is dissecting a mechanical breath. There are four stages to a mechanical breath. There's a trigger phase, the target phase, the cycle phase, and the baseline phase. We'll get much deeper into each of these individual um, stages, but let's just define these terms. What is the trigger variable? The trigger variable is the variable that determines when inspiration begins. Target is how the breath is delivered during inspiration. Is it delivered fast or is it delivered slow? What is the cycle variable? The cycle variable is what tells the ventilator to stop inspiration. What ends inspiration. And finally, the baseline phase is the airway pressure during expiration. Now things to take note, the trigger, target, and cycle phase are all during inspiration, and the baseline phase is during expiration.